What's up guys, Mr. Watermelon here, and today I'm bringing you another LEGO Star Wars 2014 Future Set Analysis video. And this time guys, we've got, from the Yoda Chronicles, the Jedi Scout Fighter. Set 75051, contains 490 pieces, will be retailing for 60 US dollars. Right off the bat, little pricey, just like the last Yoda Chronicles set, the Jack 14 Starfighter, which was very overpriced actually. But this should be a $50 set, and if you're, counting, if you're counting price for piece, this should be a $50 set. But, um, I guess this is LEGO's way of making money, because they really want to push the Yoda Chronicles. This is LEGO's original thing, not canon at all in the Star Wars universe. But, um, yeah, pretty cool looking ship. Not quite sure what it's for, because we don't have much information about it yet. But it does have four exclusive minifigures. We get Jack 14 in another, um, in another cool outfit. We have a, um... Looks like Ro Rorian, something like that. Jedi Master, Pablo Jill's species. We have RA7 Protocol Droid, looks like, and an Astro Droid with no name. So um, here's a look at the ship. This is actually one of the only views of the ship I have because there's there wasn't many pictures on the website I was using. But um, it's got a pretty sleek design. It looks sort of like a bug of some kind. I don't know. It's got a double cockpit. I really like the double cockpit right there. It's got a slot for the Astro Droid, and that's the only picture of the Astro Droid we get, besides the fact that he's blue and he's got like a chrome top. Um, we have no idea what he's about or anything because the Yoda Chronicles episode hasn't um, premiered yet. He's got some flaps just like on the Jedi um, Starfighters on the back, as you can see. He's got, um, it's got, it's got a spring-loaded um, cannon, two of them, looks like. Excuse me. It's a lot better than the uh, flick fire missiles, which didn't really work at all. These things are really good. They shoot like across a room. It's ridiculous. And um, yeah, the wings kind of come up like this and jut out. It's got a Republic symbol on it. So who knows if Jack 14 uh, stopped being neutral or something? I have no idea. This is a very vague set. We don't have much about it except the minifigures, which are really cool. Here's the first one. It's that Pablo Jill type figure. I don't think it's Pablo Jill though. If I'm getting, I'm getting the name right, but this is a new mold, and we see this um, this um, species, excuse me, this species a lot in Star Wars. He's in the Moss Eisley Cantina. Um, he's in a lot of different things. He's a Jedi a few times apparently. So um, very cool new head mold. I'm really digging the head mold. There's Jack 14 in a Stormtrooper helmet, which is with a different design, a little odd. He's got that printing on his arm, just like with the lightning arm. He's got a sash or. Uh, belt thing going across his chest. And he's got his awesome white lightsaber hilt with leg print. And uh, there's that protocol droid. I think I've seen this somewhere. It was either in Jabba's palace in episode 6 or somewhere else. But either way, he's a protocol droid. Protocol droid, excuse me. <laughs> Jeez, I can't pronounce this today. But yeah, he's pretty cool. Pretty cool design on him. I like it. Oh, uh, here's the back of the Pablo Jill species. I'm just going to call him the Pablo Jill species because he doesn't have a name. I really like how the hood goes onto the mold. That is a very cool thing that they added on the set. And it looks a lot better because, I mean, it's not like you're going to have his whole neck sticking out. He's got to have some clothing on, I guess. But it looks very, very good. I'm really liking that. It's got the same colorization on him as uh, Poncrell did. And I really like the Poncrell figure. There's the front of the figure again. Nice printing on the eyes on the mold there. Got a green lightsaber. Here's Jack 14. You can sort of see the arm printing on his uh, left arm a little bit. Uh, no belt printing, I don't think. There's his back, and you can see the yellow white, the yellow, excuse me, his white lightsaber hilt. And um, there's his normal Jack 14 force head with his weird force eyes. And there's that prodigal droid again with the new mold. I think it's a new mold on his head. He's got some back print you can see um, in there. He's got his like, little wires like C-3PO does on all the protocol droids. So here's the back of the box. And uh, see, we can see a few more features on here, actually. There's a... Um, I'll try to zoom in a little bit if I can. Maybe I'll try. But the cockpit's removable. You can see right here the cockpit's removable. Um, it's got a lightsaber storage rack. The guns move up and down. It's got uh, two spring-loaded shooters, and uh, it's got a holocron or two, it's got a few holocrons, and um, a holocron in the crates, and it's got that blue astro droid there once again. So, um, overall opinion on the set, 
Um, if you're a diehard Yoda Chronicles fan, which if you are, great, go ahead and buy it. It looks cool. I don't know what it's going to be used for. Of course, I'll watch the episodes when they come out. But, um, yeah, this is, um, overpriced, though. If you want to buy for that Jedi Master, which is going to be the attraction to the set, if you're not a uh, Yoda Chronicles fan, that's going to be the big attraction. And they were smart doing that, instead of just including Yoda Chronicles characters, like in the last set, which was sort of odd. But, um, yeah, I, I'm probably not going to get it, just because it's overpriced, and I have other other LEGO Star Wars things to spend my money on, like mocks and whatnot. So, um, yeah, not too much information about the set, but um, if you like it, go ahead and buy it, I guess, if you want to spend that much money on If you want to spend for a $10 overpriced set, go ahead. But, um, yeah, a little confused about this set as well as the Phantom set, which that analysis video is also on the channel. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this analysis. If you liked, um, you liked the uh, commentary, you liked the HD pictures, slap that like button, um, show some support, and uh, leave a comment. Just tell me anything about the set. Uh, do you like it? Are you going to buy it? What do you think of the figures? What do you think the ship is used for? What do you think about the Yoda Chronicles, Jack 14, anything like that? Um, leave a comment, please, and go ahead and subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel. That is the biggest help that you can give me. What motivates me to make videos is getting, knowing that I'll get some subscribers, because, um, I do re re reviews, animations, mocks, hauls, analysis, etc. All things LEGO Star Wars. Click that channel down. Click the channel link down there and look at all the other LEGO Star Wars future set analyses for 2014 summer. They are all up there on the channel right now. So go check them out, please. You guys have a very great day. Thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Mr. Watermelon. Peace out and subscribe.